What's up front end tips here welcome to another very exciting tutorial today I'm going to be talking about how we can create the toggle switch that we created last time using SAS language or SAS preprocessor So for those of you who do not know what SAS is or SCSS in my case here I'm going to just go to Google and type SAS pretty much and what, what you get in the first link is that it says SAS is the most mature, stable, and powerful, professional-grade CSS extension language in the world. And what it really is, is let me just describe it a little bit here. I do have a tutorial uh, maybe a year ago about this. Maybe you want to go and check it out. But generally speaking, you know, CSS is not a programming language. You know, it's just a, you know, it's just something that you can write some properties that, uh, you know, browser can understand and style your HTML files, right? And believe it or not, you definitely need some, sometimes you definitely need things that a programming language provides, like, you know, for loops, iterations, and whatnot, to create awesome stuff, which literally cannot be done using normal CSS. And that's where SAS as a preprocessor uh, with a bunch of other, you know, preprocessors like less, like Compass, come into play and help you create awesome stuff uh, using these proper preprocessors. You know, uh, as you might know, we have a course uh, that we are developing right now, and it's about masterclass course in CSS animations. And one of the chapters here, we're going to talk about how to create a, an awesome animation using SAS. And I'm just elaborating. Please, guys, uh, beneath this tutorial, you know, in the comment section, uh, tell me how important it is for you to create those animations and how important it is to learn SAS. You know, then I can go ahead and create some more tutorials on SAS so that you can get ready for for this uh, animation course, which is going to be the most awesome course on the web. So let's get started. Uh, so we're going to create this and uh, along the line I'm going to tell you what are the features that SAS provides that enhances your front-end development. I'm going to go to kothus.com slash codity create a new prototype and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a div with a class switch you know the same way we created in the last tutorial. I mean honestly I'm going to just copy and paste this here. So we have a switch class and then we have an input within that uh, with the type checkbox and with an ID checkbox one and then we have a label and it has like a for attribute that refers to this input, right? So that if I write checkbox here and start clicking on it, you know, it affects the checkbox itself just because we have defined this for here that references the ID. I'm going to remove this. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this gear icon and in the preprocessor, I'm going to use SCSS. You can pretty much use SAS, but I'm going to use SCSS, which is a newer version. Uh, so let's just save it and close it. Now what we want to do is that in this CSS or in the CSS panel using SAS preprocessor, I'm going to set the uh, define the properties in the switch class or basically this div I'm going to set the position to be relative now if it was supposed to be CSS I'm going to just type switch and then input uh, and then I'm going to type type checkbox because that's the type of my input and set visibility to hidden right that's how you do it in the in the CSS and actually in the SAS it works as well because it kind of runs CSS but now based on the uh, SAS programming language or SAS language what I'm going to do is that I know that input is the child of div kind of follow the same pattern in the SCSS here as well so inside the switch brackets I'm going to say input and then I'm going to say type checkbox and then I will set visibility to hidden right you can see it does the same thing the checkbox is now hidden so you can see how cool it is because now we have this kind of you know hierarchy over here which we have a switch and inside that we have, we have input and in the SAS language you can follow the same thing so you can set the switch position relative and then inside since input is the child of the switch 
or the div with the switch class, we can definitely follow the same routine here. And then we have a label. What I'm going to do inside the switch brackets, I'm going to define the label. And then I'll set the uh, you know position to absolute and kind of following the previous tutorial. So if you want to know exactly what I'm doing, please go and check it out if you haven't already. So I'm going to give it the width of 50 pixel height of 23 pixel and then I'm going to set the top to be 0 and left to be 0 and give it a background color of maybe EEE -E -E. uh, and there we go and what I'm going to do is that give it a border radius of 50 pixel now we have this nice and round shape around it and now what I, what, what I need to do is that I'm going to use the pseudo elements on the label that I've just styled to kind of create that you know white circle trigger that I use to switch on and off so in normal CSS you just type label and then colon and then after in SAS what you really need to do since it's a pseudo element of the label class or, or of the label here I'm gonna do ampersand and then I'm gonna say after right and this is the syntax that you need to use in the SAS so since it's the pseudo element on the label class I use ampersand and then followed by the you know usual uh, colon after what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to set the content to nothing because that's what I want give it a width of 21 maybe 25 pixel and height of 25 pixel give it a background color background color of FFF which is white and then set the left uh, I need to set the position to absolute obviously and then left to minus one pixel and top to minus one pixel right and then I'll give it a border radius of 50% give it a box shadow of 0 0 4 pixel 0 on x axis 0 on y axis and 4 pixel as its radius and then I'll just give it a color of maybe 999 and then we have this nice and cool, you know, switch that we've already created using the SAS language. I'm going to switch to this layout. It's kind of easier, more spacious. Now what we have, if you take a look at it, it's pretty easy to kind of follow up, see what, what is what, you know, we definitely know that input is the child of switch label as well. And then we've defined a pseudo element here on the label class using this, right? So pretty easy, nothing special here. I'm going to go here on the switch class itself and I'm giving it a margin 50 pixel to kind of just move it a little bit here, more visible and nicer. So what I need to do is that when I click on, you know, uh, this, which uh, respectively uh, makes my input which is now hidden checked now based on this it's pretty easy so I know that I have an input right and then I'm going to use the same ampersand with the pseudo class checked and then here what I really need to do I say when the input is checked I want the after on the label now the left is minus one I want to make it maybe 30 right so I know that plus represents the element after the input, right? So if input uh, is the one that I'm selecting in CSS, if I choose plus, then it will choose this one, label. So that's what I did. When my input is checked, right, then the label, which is exactly after that, but on its after, right? On its after, I want the left to be, let's say, 27 pixel so if I click on this now you can see that now the left becomes 27 pixel on the you know this white circle which is the pseudo element after of the label so going through this again the input class let's just maybe let's just remove the visibility here to visible right it's not visible right now because I made this absolute. So let's just make it relative real quick so that we can see both of them, right? So what happens here when here I input, uh, when it's checked, right? When it's checked, then I want the next element's pseudo element. Next element here is label. And then it's pseudo element after to have a left 21 pixel, which is originally 
minus one pixel right so what happens is that when i click on this it literally changes the left property of the after pseudo element on my label to 27 pixel as easy as that right so i'm going to go ahead and change these to uh what is it uh, absolute and then obviously change the visibility to hidden and then now you can see that you have this cool kind of you know switch now what i want to do is let's say the original or default state is off and then i click on it and make it on what i really want to happen is that when i click on on i want the background of my label to become green right and that's pretty easy right because we've already put all of the things in place here so the input when it's checked i want the label to have a background color of green right so now waiting for it to come up let's see okay this kind of gets added for itself so now you can see that when i click on it when it's checked the label the background becomes green now the cool thing with sas is that you can define variables right so let's just go ahead here and let me just define a active color variable and you you define it with dollar sign so basically whatever that has dollar sign before it's a variable and i'm going to just give it a value of green right now here instead of green i'll replace it with the active color so now what happens is that it will become green now if i change it to dark blue let's say what happens is that now this is dark blue and then maybe if i set it to violet then you know it kind of affects the, the color that i've defined and here it might be not really useful but imagine you create a bunch of elements you know and all of them have some sort of an active state that you want to change instead of going on each of them in css and change them you can just define a variable and change that variable and it will affect all those you know properties in this case background color to that variable all right guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i'm going to share the link you know in the description go ahead and uh, like and share this video as much as you can helping me create these awesome tutorials and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i hope uh, you have a very good day and night goodbye